Wait a minute, am I playing the new season of Fortnite on a Mac? On an iPhone? On an iPad? Yes I am. But does that mean that Apple and Epic are now friends again? No. But thanks to Microsoft there's now a legitimate way of playing Fortnite on your Apple devices and it's not going to cost you a thing. If you play Fortnite a lot, then you may have noticed this pop up a few weeks ago in the messages. Most people just skip over these messages, but this one in particular about Xbox Cloud Gaming referred to a new way of playing Fortnite online with a browser on PC or mobile. Now, we already know that you can play Fortnite on Android directly with the app, but this sneaky way gives you the opportunity to not only have an alternative method to play on those Android and PC devices, but also on Apple devices, and it's so simple. All you need to do is follow that link, that slash Xbox Cloud Beta. And if you haven't got an Xbox account, it's easy enough to sign up for one. And if you do, even better. You'll notice that Fortnite is currently the only free to play game this way but if you get the Xbox Game Pass subscription you'll notice you'll have access to loads more games that you can play in the browser. The one downside to playing Fortnite this way is that there's only two ways that you're allowed to play. One is the, the touchscreen which obviously you can't do on a Mac but you can do on a mobile device or tablet or with a controller. So you keyboard warriors out there are going to have to wait. Been a bit naughty and I'm playing an Xbox game with a PlayStation 4 controller that are connected by a Bluetooth to the Mac Mini. But you can also connect a controller like this to your iPhone or iPad. And if you don't know how to connect your controller to those devices, just watch the video up there. Now hopefully you've signed in or signed up and you've got your controller ready. You can press the play for free button, which will then take you to the game page. And then after that, you just press play. Sometimes if you haven't pressed your controller, you may get a prompt asking you to press it. The game should now start as normal, and there you go, playing Fortnite on your Mac, iPhone, and iPad. If you want it in full screen, there is the option top left, as well as quitting the game. So now you're playing it on your Mac. If you want to be even more creative, want to take your gameplay and record it to repurpose it for your own online accounts, check out this video here. Press the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you already haven't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.